Hello, one and all, this is Lux Love Lux. Welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, despair. And I've never been so happy in my life to witness a, a murder or a death. I don't know if it's a murder even. We're not really sure. Uh, in the last episode, someone hung themselves, it looked like, on camera. And uh, let's, let's see how this plays out. The investigation begins. I'm so excited. Hey, somebody get out here. As soon as I arrived at the motel, I started shouting for help as loud as I could. You fiend. I was wondering who was making such infernal racket. So it was you. Gundam, something awful has happened. What? Don't tell me. Do you intend to spread the pathogenic bacteria so you can take us all down with you? I won't let you! If you want to pass, you must defeat me first. Um, what happened? Is there a problem? Fighting is not allowed. It's worse than trouble. There's a body. Huh? Did you hear me? A body was found. C could it be? B -b -b body? Yeah! I renounce you. Could it be? Do you intend to spread lies? Like Nagito in order to confuse us all. Hold it. Hold on. Hajime, is that true? Of course it is. Isn't it obvious? You fiend. Chiaki, you have seen Nagito's condition, yes? This fiend just has the same symptoms as him. But still... But there's no way we shouldn't check it out, because if Hajime is telling the truth, that means it happened again, right? What? I can kill it! Hey. If that's true, we need to check it out. Fine. If that is the case, I will not stop you. Leave this to me! Leave this place to me, and you fiends go on ahead. <laughs> mm. No need to worry. I will catch up with you easily. Um. Th that sounds like famous last words. Chiaki, can you go? Yep. Yeah, it's better if we hurry, right? Oh, damn right, we should hurry up. Yes, leave. There's a body. It's not sure if it's. I wonder if it's. It could. Hajime! Oh, Hajime! I thought it might be Mikan. It's not Mikan. Unless this is some like robot version of Mikan. It could be a clone. It could be a clone. We don't know. Mikan, why are you here? Uh, uh, yeah. Perfect timing. Please, please help us. Hi, Hajime. Uh, help us. Hey, hey. Uh, Hajime, someone's coming from over there. Huh? Hajime and Chiaki. What are you guys doing here? Fuhiko, why are you here too? No shit. Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for a Buki. It must be a Buki. Damn, is it a Buki? Looking, looking for a Buki? Uh, I was planning to rest in the odd call room, but I, I wanted to check on everyone before I did that. Uh, and uh, the Buki's missing from the hospital all of a sudden. Huh? So what Hajime was saying earlier. Everyone, let's hurry. Huh? Huh? Hurry where? To the music venue. Don't ask. Just follow me. Huh? Music venue. <laughs> hey, is, is Ibuki going to be there? Oh, shit. Uh, I think this is the right way. But my wound isn't completely healed yet. Don't make me run too much. Hey. Is Buki inside here? The only way to know is to go inside and confirm. Yes, go in! But that hanged body is really a Buki. Stop wasting time! Let's go! I clench my teeth and reach my hand toward the door. It, she's gonna be gone, isn't she? It's locked. Huh? Huh? What the heck? Why is it locked? 
That doesn't make sense. I mean, I, I was able to go through here just a few minutes ago. Then, then why, why don't we try from another entrance? Nope. This is the only entrance to the music venue. There isn't even a window we can go through. But why is it locked? Hm. I don't understand it myself, but... Let's go. If it won't open, the only thing we can do is force our way through. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if that's going to be possible. Of the four of us, two of us are girls, you know. It's got nothing to do it with It doesn't you. matter if you can do it or not. We have to try. Damn right. Let's go. We'll charge at the same time. Ready, set, <laughs> go! If we eco signal, we charge into the door at full force. That doesn't sound like it worked. Oh, the door moved. <laughs> Maybe it'll open easily after all. Yep. Yeah, even with two girls here. Let's go. All right, one more time. If we eco signal, we charge into the door one more time. Boom. Got it. Nailed it. Oh, God. It was like a live performance had just ended. That moment of silence just before the audience breaks out in thunderous applause. And a few minutes after that silence, a scream surfaced. <laughs> Hold on a second. We didn't notice that before, did we? Oh! There wasn't just a hanged body. There was also another body. A suspended body belonging to Hiyoko. What? Holy crap. A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Oh, it's a double, double message? A body has been discovered! <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it is. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! Exactly the same message twice. Couldn't he have just said two bodies have been discovered? Oh man. Two body discovery announcements in a row. That means... A hanged body with a hemp bag on its head. Hiyoko's suspended body. Both of these bodies have been discovered at the same time. Ah! Oh, what is this? What? Hiyoko is... Uh, who the hell is the other one wearing the hemp bag? Could it be? Could it be? Two victims? But when I was here earlier, I didn't see Hiyoko's body. See, I wasn't sure if maybe we just missed it. Uh, but I was right. It wasn't there before. Oh, what does that mean? I only saw that hanged body over there. And not even 10 minutes passed, but still, why? Also, it was locked. Yeah! What is it? <laughs> impossible, 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 impossible. It's impossible for killers to happen on this island. Shut the hell up. They've been happening the whole time. Shut up, idiot. This is just... For now, we should lower that person wearing the head bag to the ground. Leaving it like that is just too sad. Yes! Oh, but what about preserving the scene of the crime? Damn it! Who fucking cares about that? Um... Th there's a control panel for the baton lighting on the wing of the stage. You can lower the body with that. That one? Fuyuko ran over to the wing of the stage and pressed a button on the control panel. <sighs> Apparently the, uh, the stage roared. With the motorized sound like the growl of a starving beast, the baton lighting slowly descended. 
When it descended enough for us to reach it, we all worked together to lower the body. <gasps> now, I'm going to take off the hemp bag, okay? It's her. The bookie. <sighs> Even though I expected it, I still didn't want to confront that reality. Under the hemp bag, there was no denying that the face I saw belonged to Ibuki. Damn it! Damn it! Uh, it's all my fault. If only I did a better job watching over Ibuki. <laughs> You're wrong. It's not your fault, Mikan. No matter how we feel, the one at fault is... What's the matter? Jeez, it feels like someone died in here or something. Hey! So you finally showed up, the root of all evil. What the heck? How dare you call your big brother the root of all evil? I even went to the trouble of bringing everyone for you. Bringing everyone. Ah! Oh, Kazuichi's here. Are you kidding me? What the hell is going on here? I I Ibuki and Hyoko. What? Oh, two people have been killed? What? Whoa there, that's not all. I've also summoned the others who are at the hospital. The others. This is troubling. Looks like another serious incident occurred while I was unaware. D damn it! I, I, I can't believe they... They did such a horrible thing. Nagito, Akane, are, are you okay? Huh? Huh? Of course. <laughs> are you, what do you mean, uh, of course? No way! Are you talking about the despair disease? Jeez, you guys, that stuff is totally over now. Hey. Uh, over? <laughs> yeah, because I got bored. That's... For that silly reason? <laughs> and now that the killing has started, there's no need to keep that motive around anymore. Yeah, that despair disease is gone now, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. What'd you say? What, what the heck? That's impossible. How could you spread a disease and cure it so easily? Here. Oh, who cares about the itty bitty details? What matters is that it's already been cured. So, let's go back to our main topic and proceed as usual. It's the Monokuma File! Woo! Number three. See ya later! <laughs> I'll be waiting at the class trial. Do your best to investigate, will ya? This cannot uh, be... Uh, again? We, we have to do this again? Science. We have no... Choice. Like last time, if this means one of us killed these two, let me tell you this. Then we cannot let this be. Uh, uh, why do we do we have to do this? Damn it. Thinking like that won't do anything. We have to do this. Damn it. If we don't do anything, we'll all be executed. <laughs> what do you yearn? Abandon your over-dependence and complaints this instant. Those have no place in this world. But what about Nikomaru? What's going to happen to him? Is he not going to participate this time? Is that even allowed? <laughs> N -n -n Nikomaru. Huh? That's weird. That's strange. I'm, I'm crying. What happened to me? It looks like lingering after effects of the despair disease. It's nothing for you to worry about. Hey. Are you okay? Yep. Fortunately, it seems like I have nothing to worry about. This is bad. Since you had the liar disease, your after effects could be lies, maybe? Leave it to me. Please, leave Nikamaru to me. Everyone must focus on investigating. So I must do my very best. Alrighties. Alrighty. I will definitely bring back Nikomaru and win everyone's trust. Um. It seems we should leave Nikomaru to Monomi. 
What about guarding this area? Do we still need it? Damn it. I'll stay. I still don't feel good yet. Um. Um. It's better if I stay here too, right? I should perform the autopsy again, right? Damn right. Then I'll leave that to you. Um. Then let's get started so we can end this nightmare for good. That's right. We need to end this. We need to finish this once and for all. I know there's no way we can believe that one of us did this. But for those two sake, that's a mouthful. We need to find the truth and then we need to end this nightmare once and for all. Boom. Huh? Like, I've been putting up with this for a while. Hey! But why is it so damn hot in here? I hate being hot. Because your clothes are so smothering. It's true, he's got quite a bit of clothing on. He seems to always be sweating too. This guy is wearing a toque, I think. Gah, I seriously can't stand it. I'll let you guys investigate this place. And so Kazuichi left the music venue under a cloud of grumbling complaints. Odd that he leave first. Suspect number one, perhaps? But it really is hot. In fact, it's swelteringly hot. Why is it this hot? There's flaming lizard heads on the wall. What do you expect? Flaming lizard heads. No, before that, I need to check the Monokuma file first. Okay, let's see what's let's see what's on uh, on here. There are two victims this time: Ibuki Miyoda and Hiyoko Sayanji. Buki Miyota's cause of death was a crushed windpipe as a result of choking. There are no other external injuries. Yoko Sayanji's cause of death was blood loss due to her throat being slit by a sharp edged tool. Wow. Wow. And then tied up like that. That just seems so extreme. It appears her death was instant. What the? Is this it? I already knew the cause of death from the beginning, so this isn't going to be a useful clue. Hmm. It's strange. Why did the killer kill two people? Huh? I mean, the more people you kill, the more clues you'll leave, right? So... So, I don't think it's really necessary to kill two people and take that kind of risk. I agree with that. Or, was there a reason that they had to kill two people? A reason for killing two people. Could be the one person witnessed the killing. Regardless, something like this shouldn't be forgiven, so... I'll definitely find out. I will definitely find the truth behind this case. I think. That's what I think. Seriously, I'd really prefer if she had a more confident sounding catchphrase. All right, let's, let's let's start talking to people. Uh, Fuyihiko, what do you have to say for yourself? Damn right. Hey, Hajime, take a look at this. Hmm, what? He definitely, Fuyihiko seems like more cooperative now than he's ever been, that's for sure. Huh? Look what's in front of the door. This, this is a drumstick, right? And it looks like it's broken. So maybe that was wedged in the door? What happened to it? Like... If something like that is in front of the door, <laughs> you think it might be a really big clue? Why would this be a clue? Hey! Remember when we came to the music venue? If it won't open, the only thing we can do is force our way through. Hmm, I wonder if that's gonna be possible. Of the four of us, two of us are girls, you know? It doesn't matter if you can do it or not, we have to try! Let's go. We'll all charge at the same time. Ready, set, go! At Fuyihiko's signal, we charge into the door at full force. The door was locked when we tried to go inside, and the four of us charged into the door. <laughs> but, when I examined it, I found out that this door doesn't have a lock at all. Huh? I get it. The door is designed to be pushed open, and this is the shape of the handle. If a stick was used to bar the door here, huh. well, 
Don't you think it would lock the door and keep it from opening? Oh, you mean you think this drumstick was used to lock the door? Doesn't seem thick enough, though. <laughs> the broken drumstick on the floor in front of the door should be proof of that. Then, how is the killer able to get out? Huh? Huh? I mean, the music venue doesn't ha even have windows. The store is the only entrance. If they locked the door from the inside, the killer wouldn't be able to escape outside. Like... Maybe... The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue? And they waited until we already... Uh, we were already at the scene of the crime to join us? You know, don't they use tricks like that a lot in mystery dramas and stuff? <laughs> if that's the case, there might be evidence of that around here somewhere. Damn it. Alright, I'm definitely gonna find it. I won't let the killer get away with this. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue, huh? He said that might be possible, but... I've listened to the whole story. I heard what you two were discussing. Chiaki, that was a kind of cool entrance. I, I really like Chiaki. Well? Besides the broken drumstick, I've also discovered something interesting. What is it? See? Look, there's a weird glob where the right and left door touch, see? You're right. W what is this? It looks too firm to think it's rubber. That is really weird. Like chewing gum? Yep. Yeah, it doesn't look like rubber, but... As she said that, Chiaki bent down, scraped off the semi-transparent glob with her finger. She did it. She, 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 she did it. I can't believe she did it. Are you putting it in your mouth? <laughs> ah, it smells like workshop chemicals. Workshop. And this chewiness. I see. This thing may be a glob now, but that doesn't mean it was a glob from the start. For instance, if it was originally a liquid that hardened into this, it might be possible to apply it directly and smoothly in the gaps of the door. What are you talking about? <laughs> Just like the taste. Just as I thought, it tastes nasty. Chucky spat the glob out of her mouth and left the area. What does that mean? Maybe like something was holding the drumstick in place and then um, it could have like dropped down when they closed the door after it turned gooey or something like that. I, I don't know. Uh, besides that bit about the taste, it's okay to consider uh, this some kind of clue, right? Yeah, it's definitely a clue. Just not sure what it is yet. Semi transparent glob. Like it could have been used to like stick the the drumstick in place so that it would fall after the door was closed. It's the only thing I can think of right now. Nagito, your turn. Hajime. Hajime, this might be impudent of me to ask, but will you listen to what I have to say? Hey. I heard that you witnessed the incident from the very beginning, right? So what? <laughs> Can you provide me with a summary of the incident? I need to reach the truth behind this incident for the sake of dedicating my body to an even greater hope. No. Wow. Why? Don't make me repeat myself. No. This guy just wants to confuse us. There's no way I'm going to tell him what he wants to know. How unfortunate. I see. That's disappointing. All right, Akane, you're up. Nothing to say. Hey, are you okay? Are, are you still not feeling well? Hmm. Huh? Yeah, I don't really get it, but when I think about Nikomaru, it's like my knees start shaking. That's weird. That's weird. There's no way I've got that kind of weakness. 
It'd probably go away if I battled a strong dude. But Nikamaru's not here. Nikamaru will definitely come back. You, you're right. Was Nikomaru involved in this? Is that possible? It seemed pretty beat up, so I just don't know. All right, Gundam. <laughs> Even I am horrified of my power, of the eye of the Overlord. What the heck is this? Nature, the collective. Oh, you stupid fool! I cannot believe you haven't noticed that an aberrant thing. Pitiful humans, they refuse to lift their heads up for fear of doubting the authenticity of the blue sky. Lift my head up? Does he mean that there's something up there? I don't... I don't see anything. Stage? I don't, I don't know what he's talking about. Okay. Carrying on. <laughs> uh, if only I'd noticed sooner, Abuki might have been saved. Hey, when did you realize Abuki was missing? Um, after leaving Nakito's room, I, I went to the on call room, and that's when it came to me that I should go check on how everyone in the hospital is doing one more time before I go to sleep. <laughs> and so, I went to the patient room and noticed that Abuki was gone. So, I quickly ran out of the hospital. So that's what happened. <laughs> and then I saw Fuyahiko in front of the hospital. He was missing in the morning, wasn't he? So I, I asked him if he could help me look for Abuki. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, where were you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. That is a long story. <laughs> Whoa, I, I'm sorry. This is not like I doubt you or anything. Uh, uh, There's yeah. no way I, I doubt you because because we've been together since this morning. Uh, you're right. We were together until you went to the on-call room. <laughs> th th that's right. We were we were together until just a little before the morning Monokuma announcement. So, so I, I I don't doubt you. I'm I'm telling the truth. Um, um is it alright if I continue with my autopsy? If you you talk to me again later, I'll tell you what I know. So please spare my life at least. I'm not gonna kill her. <laughs> like what? What happened to not doubting me? <laughs> oh, okay. She went. She went to an awful lot of trouble to, like, show that she was innocent also. Sonya. We haven't heard too much from her before this uh, murder occurred. Something like this. It has happened once again. Two of my cherished friends died at the same time. I cannot believe it. How cruel. This is the place where Obuki sang for Fuyuhiko. Hiyoko looked like she was having so much fun listening to her music. And now those two are no longer here. Oh, such a tragedy. I understand how you feel, but please get a hold of yourself. Two of our friends were killed. That's all the more reason why we can't just leave this alone, right? So just as I thought. We must do this for... Uh, we must do this then, for the sake of the two who have fallen. Okay. Um, there's a broken machine here. That's the, uh, that's the, the camera and the view screen. Shattered remains of the machine are spread all over the floor. I see. This I appears see. to be the surveillance camera unit. This, too, must be the will of causality. Kazuichi put it in the music venue for communication purposes. Hmm? Why is it destroyed like this? Um. Perhaps the criminal psychology... Perhaps criminal psychology is at play here. What do you mean? Well, 
Even if they know they are not being recorded, there is no way the killer would tolerate committing a murder in front of a camera. Fine. So that's why they destroyed the camera. Hmm, seems plausible enough. They'd hesitate to murder someone in front of a camera, and that's why the killer destroyed this? Then, what was that thing I saw? I, I'm trying to remember, I, like we saw some someone walking up the ladder and hanging themselves, right? But we didn't see like someone doing it to them. It seemed like they did it themselves. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Okay. What else can we look at? Um, let's just check the stage. Okay, what have you seen, Jackie? With her arms crossed and a thoughtful look on her face, Jackie was silently staring at the stage floor. Did something drop on the floor there? Nothing dropped. It's just dirty. Dirty. Hey, hey. See? Take a close look at the floor. See? If you look closely... You're right. There's a smudge as if something was wiped off. Wait. This isn't something. Is this a blood stain? Yep. Well, a blood stain isn't strange. Yoko's neck was slashed not far from here. But still... Rather, what's strange is, why did the killer try to hide it? Hide it? So... If they weren't trying to hide it, they wouldn't have bothered wiping it off. The reason the killer wiped off the blood stain. As long as the body is nearby, there's no way they'd be able to conceal the crime by wiping off a blood stain. So what was the killer trying to hide? Trying to think of what they might be hiding. Maybe their own blood? Or... Try to conceal where the murder happened? I don't... I don't know. Candle. It's a massive candle positioned near the front of the stage. Right. The dull light in that video must have been coming from this candle. Candle this huge might be perfect for lighting, but they didn't need to bother using a candle. They could have just used the normal stage lighting. Also, there's blood on the side of that ladder. Step ladder is tipped over on its side. Must be the stepladder that Ibuki used in the video I saw. Or was it? Maybe it's a different stepladder. Ah, is it that a blood stain? Look, there's a there's blood around the left side of the stepladder. As I recall, Ibuki didn't have any external injuries. If that's the case, then it must be Hiyoko's blood. Yep. That's the only thing I can think of. A blood stain that probably belongs to Hiyoko is on the left side of the stepladder. What does it mean? Now, in the video, I don't think we saw blood on it, so that kind of that I mean that confirms that, that Hiyoko's murder happened afterwards, probably, and that it happened here, unless it's a different stepladder. It's possible. bag. Ibuki had a hemp bag on her head. It was hanging from the ceiling. But why did she have a hemp bag on her head? The only thing I can think of is like to cover her face because it wasn't Ibuki who was on the, going up the ladder. Maybe it was someone pretending to be Ibuki uh, to make it look like she was committing suicide to get away with the murder? Wait, huh? That hemp bag. Upon further inspection, there's a Monomi decal on the fabric. It looks like this isn't just a normal bag. Yeah, I noticed that too. It's maybe like from the gift shop or something like that. 
It's the rope that was tied to the baton lighting on the ceiling. Ibuki hanged herself with this rope and died. From what I can tell, it looks like a regular length of rope with no unnatural features. But despite the fact that this music venue has a storage room, there shouldn't have been any rope in there. Which means... was it obtained from the supermarket? Did the killer bring it from there? That means anybody could have obtained this rope, and it means it'd be difficult to use this as a clue. <laughs> I wonder if that's true. Huh? Oh, I just noticed a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? Hey! Excuse me, Mikan, do you have a moment? Um, uh, um what's happened? Um. There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? Yes, she, she had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. I see. I see, I see. So, Ibuki died by hanging herself. That was obvious the moment we discovered the body. You might not have seen it, but we all saw that she hanged herself. <laughs> You're right, yeah, I, I got it. So this rope won't be much of a clue then I might as well search another place. Jeez, as usual, I have no idea what he's up to. Mm. I think he's probably suspecting that maybe Ibuki didn't actually hang herself, right? Something else going on. Now, uh, is there something, a curtain? There's a black curtain hanging at the far side of the stage. It's a curtain, it's not wide enough can't reach from one edge of the stage to the other. Huh? It's not really a full-length curtain. This curtain was originally here, right? It, if it was, if it was, it's strange that it doesn't fit properly. Hmm. It was probably obtained from the furniture section of the supermarket. Rocket punch, yeah. See, the back of the curtain is taped for temporary use, just like the curtain at the supermarket. So you're saying someone took the time to actually bring that curtain from the supermarket? So... If they went that far, this is probably something that the killer really needed for this crime. Why do they need it? Mm. Who knows? Well, it wouldn't be a mystery if the answers came easy. Very true, Hajime. Very true. Can we look behind the curtain? Alright. There's kind of two major clues left. And that's... Oh, wait. The baton lighting control panel. It's a control panel on the wing of the stage. Seems you can use this control panel to raise and lower the baton lighting on the ceiling. Oh. And that's where the rope was... Was hung from, right? In fact, we use this to lower Ibuki's hanged body. Speaking of lighting, the video of the music venue I saw. Yeah, see, the background's, it's a green curtain. Not black, unless it's some lighting thing. I don't think that's a bookie. Also, I don't really see, like, I don't see her hair hanging down. We did see her hair when she was, when we first came in though. This is like a staged thing. I wonder who did it though. Looks like it could be a man. It had a dim candlelight ambiance to it and it didn't look like this lighting was used at all. Could have been a different place too. But why didn't they use this lighting? Is there some reason that would have inconvenienced them? So you have a piece. I see. You noticed too, fiend. Huh? Noticed? So you didn't notice. Hmm. Are those eyes just little glass balls? <laughs> I just add a little flair to that one. Take a good look at the baton lighting above your head. Have you not noticed that aberrant item? Look at the baton lighting. 
You mean that? Oh, there's something hanging from it. It's like a cloth? There's something that looks like black paper stuck to the baton lighting. <laughs> you so you finally noticed. But I can't really see it from here. I should lower the baton lighting one more time and I can see it! There is no need. Go by four dark devas of destruction! Go, Mirage Golden Hawk! Jumpy! Now is the time for you to take flight. <laughs> Feast your eyes upon the brave souls of my four dark devas of destruction! Destruction. Hanser launched itself in Gundam's hand and ran up to the baton lighting on the ceiling in a flash. <laughs> that sound. That sound. <laughs> This is it. Ugh. Started running around the stuck slip of paper in rapid circles. And then the paper fluttered downward and was definitely caught by Gundam. <laughs> Did you see that? Behold the power of the ultimate evil eye wielder. Wow. Wow, that is amazing. I have never seen a hamster do tricks. How pitiful. They're my four dark devas of destruction. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. So, so he had to think about it on the fly. So, so what's with that paper? Fine. Hmm, it seems to be some kind of thick paper. Though it does not have any special spells scribed onto it. That was close. Hmm, it appears it's nothing useful. No, that's not it. There's no doubt this is some kind of clue. I mean, the fact that it was stuck in a place like that, no matter how we think about it, it's too unnatural. Hmm. Alright, so I guess it's just the bodies that are left. Like the curtain. Let's start with Ibuki. Ibuki's body lay atop the stage. She's wearing the hospital gown she was wearing when she was sick. Yeah. Hmm. What's this on Ibuki's feet? Ah! I didn't notice when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. It's blood, right? But there shouldn't be any external injuries on Ibuki. If that's the case, this blood belongs to someone else. Is it possible she killed Hiyoko? Is that, is that possible? When she hung herself or someone else hung her? I don't know. I'm so confused. Damn right. Hey, Hajime, can I talk to you for a sec? You already discovered the body before you met up with us, right? Yeah, at first I didn't know it was Ibuki because of that hemp bag, though. But I knew right away she was dead since she was hanging from that rope. See, now her hair is like, you can see her hair. You couldn't really see her hair in the in the video. And the curtain's black as well. And the spotlight's on. The, so there's no candlelight. Very, very, very confusing. Like Which means a Buki must have died before Hiyoka was tied up. Well. That helps. There's no time of death written in the Monokuma file this time. So I wasn't really sure who died first. Mm. He points that out. Oh, that makes me suspect him so much because, like, I really don't think that's the case anymore. Like, it's actually not... I guess it's possible she could have, like, died before, but she would have had to have gotten the blood on her feet. Which we assume is uh, Hyoko's blood. So Hyoko would have had to have bled before she went up the ladder. When she climbed up the ladder, there'd be blood... The blood on her, the soles of her slippers, or wherever they are, there would be blood footsteps going up the ladder, right? Oh, God. It's true. Their estimated time of death wasn't written in the Monokuma file this time. But I should know when Ibuki died because I personally saw it. In that video, Ibuki was climbing the step ladder on her own, so right after that. 
Wait, hold on. If Ibuki climbed that stepladder and died right after, does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible. Because even if Ibuki committed suicide, it doesn't explain Kyoko's death afterward. Two different deaths happened at the same time. There's no way that's a coincidence. Alright, one, one piece of evidence left, as far as I can tell. Yoko's body. Yoko's body is suspended against the pillar on the side of the stage. Why is she, like, strung up like that? She's wrapped against the pillar with duct tape. And she looks like she was forced to stand upright. Damn it, who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was a slit throat. Her neck looks like it stopped bleeding. Probably because of the duct tape wrapped around it. But why is Hiyoko's kimono like this? Her kimono is all disheveled. Also, her sash is tied in the front. Huh. Did the killer do this too? But when did the killer kill Hiyoko? When I first discovered Ibuki's body, I didn't see Hiyoko's body here. Okay, the thing's destroyed. Uh, I see the cloth there. Uh, the... I was in such a weird position. I don't see how it could end up there if she, like, knocked it off herself. The, I see the candle. Spotlight's on. I don't know. That's the case, Yoko was killed. Must have been during the time I was getting everyone before I came back here. But that was barely 10 minutes. Is it really possible that the killer killed Hiyoko and taped her up in such a short amount of time? Even if it is possible, whoever did it would have had a narrow window of time to do so. Because the killer must be someone who doesn't have an alibi during that time, right? Ah, Hajime, do you have a minute? No, you're in the way. Now, now. I don't wish to be in your way at all, but there's something I really need your help with. Help. Actually. If you look closely, there's an unnatural shape bulging from inside Hyoko's kimono. So, I was thinking she might be hiding something. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you want me to search inside Hiyoko's kimono. Huh? Huh? That, that's exactly it. Why? Well, it would have been a problem if she were alive, but she's dead now, you know? Don't mess with me. Are you saying there's no problem with that now that she's dead? <laughs> Fine. If you don't want to do it, I'll just have to ask someone else. Hey! Hey, Connie! Yo! Yo, what's up? Hey. Well... There's something I want you to do for me. It looks like there's something inside Hiyoko's kimono. So can you feel around for that? What? Hmm? I don't really understand, but I, I just gotta check Hiyoko's kimono, right? Thanks. Thank you, Akane. Helping each other is such a wonderful thing. Now then. Hmm, let's see. Akane reached through the duct tape binding. Hiyoko, uh... As she stuck her hand inside her kimono. That's weird. Damn it. She's tied up so tight, I can't really reach with my hand. Oh, wait. Hold on. Yo. There's something. Is this what you're looking for, dear? Is this a key? Perhaps. It looks different than the keys to the cottage, so this may be the key to her motel room. Key to a motel room, huh? But if her key was so deep inside her kimono that it'd be hard to remove, then it's very unlikely that the killer tampered with this evidence. Isn't that right? Because if this is a trap, they would have put it more toward the front of her kimono, so we'd notice it easier. Which means we can conclude this is something Kyoko had with her all along. Why is that weird, though? I mean, she would have her key with her. Mm. Hey. Uh, also, it's not like I'm adding to that or anything. 
But you look like you were curious about the condition of Hiyoko's body, right, Hajime? Of course, that's why I'm investigating. It's true, there are several mysteries regarding her body. Well, just hear me out for a second. And of all those mysteries, what I think is the strangest is... See? The way they wrapped her body with that duct tape. It's almost like they were trying to hide the wound on Hiyoko's neck, don't you think? Hide the wound on her neck. <laughs> I don't really know if that was their true intention, but I guess it's a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because the duct tape is acting as a compress, right? If her body was left alone after her throat was slit, the surrounding area would be a sea of blood. Sea of blood, huh? Two dead bodies floating in a sea of blood. It's enough to make anybody faint. Alright guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here. We have lots more investigating to do. I think, actually, this is probably the last thing we need to look at, the AC control panel. You know what, I'll, get it. I'll, I'll do that, I'll do that. This looks like the music venue's AC unit. That's right, you might be able to adjust the hot air in the music venue with this. Alright, I should mess around with it a little, like so. It's running as a heater, over 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we know why it's so damn hot. Better turn off the heater for now. That should cool things off a little. Temperature, okay. Six degrees. Uh, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I looked at everything here. I must have missed something. But uh, we'll find out on the next episode, guys. I'm going to wrap this one up here. I'm going to maybe probably do longer episodes just so I can uh, get through this game faster because I'm really excited to like just see what's gonna happen I'm really excited to get to the trial I'm really excited to like see how this is all gonna wrap up so uh, expect longer episodes I'm sure no one's complaining about that this is luckless love lock signing out for now and I love you all <laughs>